One, yes, last, last, last. Previously on Master Chef, <gasps> I won a challenge. Yes, Tanya's it's a big win gave her an advantage in the daunting elimination challenge. Our favorite. I'm gonna, I'm gonna save the plum. Last one. Books take to the road for tonight. T tonight, I don't care about tonight. We're already watching the show, man. Cooks. The remaining 12 home cooks have been dropped off in Venice Beach, California, where they're about to face a tough team challenge. Venice Beach feels great, man. You got the ocean, the sun. I feel good going into another team challenge. I just need a good team. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, boy. Look. Chill. Most respectful LA driver right there. All of a sudden, there's three huge food trucks rolling our way, and it's my dream to have a food truck. Oh, Gordon's driving! <laughs> I cannot wait to hear about this challenge. Oh my god! I love food trucks, I eat from them all the time. Easy. Tacos. Wow! Right, good morning. Good morning. Yeah. Welcome to Venice Beach, California. The fastest growing thing in food Nachos, isn't a cuisine, tacos, it's a vehicle. The humble food truck. Yeah. Oh, yeah. For the first time ever, we'll be split into three teams. A food truck for each team. Stacy. Yeah, chef. You had the best dish in the last MasterChef challenge. That Team. comes with an amazing advantage. It's time for you three to choose three teammates. Who is your dream team? Well, the first person I'm going to choose understands how to combine what I consider to be California cuisine. My Dave. first pick is Tali. 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 Wow. Wow. I definitely wouldn't have chosen Tali as my first choice. Uh, Tali. What? <laughs> My reason for picking Tali, besides him being a great team member, is having him on my team means if I get put into that pressure test, I can beat Tali. Uh, right, second. The only thing you can mix is dog and shit. My second choice is Frank. Frank, wow. wow. Frank? You got one more choice, and you have to think strategy. My final choice is Becky. Becky, wow. What the f OK, you have another huge advantage. You get to choose the two teams that you'll be competing against. I'd like you to name the next team of four. OK. Um, oh, next you're going to throw now for them. The first person I'm going to choose is Monty. She is one of my strongest competitors. I need her put in a position where she might go home. Okay. The second person to join Monty, who would that be? Christine. I am hoping that I am not on the same team as Monty. I don't think her and I could work together. David Martinez. David. Thank you. Yeah. David Martinez. Yeah, David. Wow. They do not get along, and that would be the downfall of their team. Josh. The next pick Josh. is Anna. Yeah. This next pick decides both Josh. teams. Josh, Josh, my head. Josh. Or Mike, but Josh probably. Uh, Tanya. Tanya. Wow. Phoenix, Christine, Mike, and Josh. I look at my team, I see Cowboy Mike, Christine, and Felix, and what? That's personally, a, that's I'm like thinking, a dream team Stacey, right there. you up now. <laughs> We're going to kick your ass. Stacy has another advantage. Christine, she gets to choose Felix, the Josh, and Mike, that's, which that's pretty good. the cuisine they will prepare. Stacy, Chef. Which color food truck do you want for your team? Red, Chef. The theme of the red truck is... Mexican cuisine. Oh, so easy. I love Mexican food. I this love day keeps Mexican getting food. Better. You've got two trucks left, two teams. David, Monty, Anna, and Tanya. Which color food truck? The yellow truck. The theme of the yellow truck is Amer American cuisine. I think we have an in right away. We get American cuisine, which is amazing. Wait. So by default, the blue team, Josh, Christine, Felix, and Mike. Brilliant. The theme of the blue truck is Indian cuisine. Is I love Indian food. I eat it all the time, and I love to cook it. Yellow team, blue team, nominate your team captain. I definitely don't want to be. You don't want to be? I don't care. I'll step up and be captain. 
So, the other team first. Who's your captain? I am chef. I need this. I need an opportunity to use my voice, and I feel confident that I can do this. Blue team. I don't know Who's enough, the though. captain? We all talked about it, and I feel like we're going to lead this team to a win. I lost the last challenge as a team leader, but now is my time to shine and step it up and show them that I can win as a team captain. Each team will have three hours to prep, cook, and serve the locals here at Venice Beach. Remember, today is about the knowing locals. your customer. Whichever team ends the day with the most money wins. Oh, wow. All the money earned will go to Save the Children and Boys and Girls Club of America. The team that loses this challenge will face another MasterChef pressure test, where at least one of you will be leaving this competition. OK, teams, your time starts Fair enough. now. Each team must plan and prepare one $7 dish to serve to the crowds. They have just 90 minutes before their food trucks open for business. I was thinking maybe like a grilled vegetable quesadilla. And I was thinking carne asada tacos. What do you guys think? We should uh, do some guacamole. Two tacos and then a scoop of guac on the side. Tacos. That looks good. Yeah. So we're going to have one vegetarian, one meat, right? Could That's we just do steak? We're in Southern California on a beach. Yeah. You can't please everyone across the board with red meat. Stacey wants to do a vegetarian and a steak taco. That's totally bonkers. It's gonna be a lot of extra work to make two separate tacos for one order. But I'm gonna have to do it. We need to Wait, keep it simple. No, Hold really? on, let our team leader tell us her ideas. Okay, slider trio with french fries. I think it might be tough to do three. Can we think about two? two? I, I agree, I agree. I think two, I agree. Why don't I just min max? Fuck no the vegetarians. Chips, because chips you can do all ahead of time and have them in a bucket, yeah. basically. Hold on, okay. double fried fries, you prep beforehand and then they're fried to order and it only takes two minutes. David and I are like oil and water. We just don't get along, man. I'm just trying not to get into a fight with anyone. Um, the chips are super thin, so even if we run out, we could do them right away. Bada bing, bada boom, that's it. Love it. Oh, that's it? We decided sure we're going to do a burger duo with a side of chips. I feel very confident and excited to win. What do you think, Ma? You eat Indian food? Yeah. No, I don't. I've never cooked Indian food. I've... I know how to make chicken tikka masala. Do we have time to debone chicken and cut it all up? I think we could. Me and you could start deboning, and y'all can start working on the sauce. Narrow this down. Chicken tikka masala. Okay. I don't really know what we're cooking. Some kind of chicken tiki taki <laughs> or taki maki or tiki soup. Josh made the call. I'm glad because I don't know what the hell the first ingredient to put in Indian food is. So I'm feeling pretty good about him being captain. My strongest team captain today has got to be Josh because there's no one in this competition that knows Indian food mm -hmm. the way he does. Today's also got to be about the quantity because mm -hmm. it's the volume today that's going to get them winning. Joe? Yeah, I think the weakest today is the Indian and wow. the strongest truck is the American truck. I'm going to go with oh, Anna. I think that guy. she has more to prove than anybody. We know that she knows how to cook. She's got great control of flavor. However, she hasn't stepped up. If she doesn't hear, I think she's done. Yeah. Bryce, red team. Stacy. Yes, sir. What are you doing? We have a carne asada taco with the pico de gallo salsa. OK. And then we're going to have also a vegetarian option with a side of guacamole. Wow. That's twice as much work. Yep. You can't just serve one. If I can't make a vegetarian happy, then that's going to screw us. Becky, people. is it just me that's... or am I missing the plot here? I really think that we should just do the steak. I'm OK with just doing the steak as well. Chef Ramsey's yelling at our ears, and I'm like, we should do what he says. That way we can use all of our Girl. heat to be grilling steak, like, constantly. Girl. All right, let's just do that then. OK, agreed. Duh, why would you not listen to me at the beginning? Josh, what are you serving? We have chicken tiki masala on a grilled naan bread with a cabbage salad. Cabbage? Yes. That's kind of a little bit out there. What else is in the salad? Yogurt and lemon-based salad dressing. Look forward to trying Imagine it. Imagine spending like 25% of energy. Until the food trucks open fucking... for service, the red and blue teams are already grilling. Like the 2% fucking... the yellow team is still struggling Soy to prepare all the components of their burger duo. What are you making? A burger duo with chips. Two burgers. Two burgers. Great Texas barbecue sauce yes. going. Mm -hmm. And then we're doing a Calypso fighter style. Wow, crazy. Why two of something when it's a single portion? I um, promise it's going to be delicious. Gordon is baffled why we're doing two different style burgers. Why not just do one stunning burger? I think we want to show that we can pull out more than. But is it the same patty? It's the same meat. So, so it's just the garnish. And you're doubling up all that work I'm just, just for a different for garnish. David. This is a contest on volume. Yes, sir. And you shot yourself in the foot because you're doing two burgers for one dish. 
The Calypso Burger. The Calypso Burger. We decided to 86 the Calypso Burger. I think that's a great idea. I was worried about getting done in time. Okay, We're just going to knock Smart. out a great Texas burger. Word of the Master Chef food trucks has spread on Venice I know Beach. LA's very liberal. Now, with just 10 minutes left until kidding. they open, the teams must have enough food prepared it was to more feed about the, vegan the growing crowd. Ooh. How many burgers are on? Are the burgers on? Get the burgers on, David. Monty, how many burgers are on? We have zero burgers on. <laughs> David? Yeah, I got it. Team captain? Yes. We're two minutes away. Yes. I've got hundreds of people walking down the boulevard, yes, and there's not one burger on. Yeah. For God's okay. sake, can Thank someone you. start cooking burgers? Jeez. That, that was fun, though, the, 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 the tiki Monty, how many burgers are on? We have zero burgers on. <laughs> David? In this challenge, three teams are competing to create and sell one $7 dish from food trucks on Venice Beach. All right, guys, it's time. Here they come, here they come. All right. But as hungry customers flock to the trucks, the yellow team has no food ready to serve. How long for the first burger? Just slider. give me time so I can tell them. How long for the first burgers? Uh... Two minutes. Two minutes. Dude, what the f is going on? There's about a five minute wait. We don't hey, have that's one points lost. Ready. Ready. That's points lost. That's points lost. We're going to cause a riot out here. David? I got it. He's like, I got it. I got it. No, David, you don't have it. How long? Yes, the first burgers. There's rock, enough for 20 rock, sliders. Rock, rock, rock. Come on. We've got no burgers, plenty yes, burgers. Yes, I'm getting my team together. There's no assembly line. Monty. You bun and meat, hand me, and well, I will again again and what? Now we're getting going, but we have lost, I don't know how many customers. Thank you so much for your patience, Sherry. And this challenge is about how many people that? you can serve. As the yellow team rushes to get food out. We got steak tacos, steak tacos. Both the red and blue teams are moving food out quickly. Enjoy, you're gonna love you, trust me. Thank you. What can I get for you guys? <laughs> You've got it. Here you go. All three trucks have so a small. huge line of people waiting, but we're ready. One order, two order. Plates are going out really fast, so I'm, I'm happy with that. There you go. Please enjoy. Thank you so much. I'm a little nervous because if your line gets backed up for too long, customers are going to leave. So the time crunch is definitely on. Thank you. You're going to love it. While the blue team is pushing out their Indian dish. One order. One order. I want to see it. Seven bucks, please. The yellow team, having just gained momentum. How are you? Has a new issue with their Texas-style burgers. It's raw. This is serious. It's raw. It's raw. Yes! Fuck yes! OK. Oh, my god. Yes. Gordon comes in and finds a raw Again. burger. Now we are going to get into absolute pandemonium. That is raw. And there's children at three, four, five years of age out there. Sure. I'm going to flip my lid. Get the team together. Okay. Third time. Organized. Okay. Thank you. Now. Am I so off in thinking that I can trust David to cook a hamburger? Just cook it. David, we are not serving raw burgers. Yes, yes sir. Yeah, I have a couple raw burgers, the wrong but size. I'm cooking burgers faster than they could serve them. Give me a freaking break. No. Do I look like Superman, anybody? What? As the blue Shut and red up. teams continue to crank out orders, Thank you. Enjoy. the judges Just, move yeah, into the yeah. crowd to collect customers. If they didn't do the time crunch right, it's that's their fault. Just don't serve it. Just wait and lose the points for it. That's for it. Wow. Hey, guys. Like if you're late for work, you don't speed. Split. You're late. Really? That's it. Would you like better? Exactly. The Mexican family liked the Indian food better. Absolutely. So what uh, What do you think? I liked it. It's very good, yeah. Okay, good. Hey. So you had the Indian chicken tiki masala. Was it good? It was good. It was the coleslaw, I didn't really care for it. The burger good. itself is actually really good. It's a good deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Order up for Tracy. Thank you. Make sure you get some extra barbecue sauce. Finally, the burgers are coming out. We have momentum. What's the cheese? Yes. Midway through oh. service, the teams are raking in the money. Thank you. Thank you. But the judges have their own ideas about who's driving cheese? the best deal. Seven bucks. Halfway through the challenge, uh, we're certainly not short of customers. 
Mexican food truck is doing okay. Although the spicing is okay, it's tough and dry. A lot of the people are asking me, why is there no fish? They wow. wanted fish so tacos. They're on the wow. ocean. The Indian nice food taco. truck's doing great. Delicious chicken tikka masala. Mm -hmm. It's Ooh. yummy. The American food truck. Anna's personality okay. shows yep. in the dish. Mm -hmm. It's quite a delicious meal. I got a lot of good feedback. We had an issue. Raw burger. Ah, so in the lead right now. I think the Indian is in the lead, certainly with flavor. But we're halfway through the serving, and we could have been twice as many customers. Right. You didn't have to wait, and it's hot. Thank you. I need you to finish this taco. We got to go recruit, because uh, I don't like this no line thing. I look at the other trucks, and recruit. the yellow team has people. Do you enjoy? And I'm going, uh-uh. We need more customers. Get ready for a mad rush. I'm going to bring it right now. What? So I bolt out of that truck. People and are piling to die. To over to the skate park. Are you guys hungry? Let's go get some tacos. And I start telling people to get their asses over here. We are the red team. We're going to serve you some really hot, delicious food, OK? Come over to my food truck. Come get some tacos, you guys. That middle truck right there. Red team, red team, all the way. Thank you, ladies. Thank you. If I was hitting oh, yeah, that, I wasn't get the fucking can out of here. Oh, right on. And it'll be fourteen dollars. With less than Lady. five minutes left, and all three teams still moving food out, the judges don't see a clear winner. Yellow yeah, could have a strong finish. It's a bit of a bargain. You got two sliders for seven dollars. I think the Indian is still hard to beat. It's delicious. It's hot. It's probably the most sensible, authentic, ethnic cuisine here. It could be the most delicious, but when it comes to sales, tacos are hard to beat. Yeah, but Less than a minute to go, all three teams make their final push to win the challenge. Thank you guys so much. Delicious tacos over what here. Game, what can you even do then? Get up. Beth, order up. Beth, Just one order. Ten, you got it. Nine. There you go, eight, my dear. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and stop. Yeah. Interesting. Woo! Time is up, and our line was definitely long, but I don't know how much money is in our till, so I'm nervous. After serving the crowds of Venice Beach, the food truck challenge yeah, is over. I, I guess I'm the confused, I'm confused. Counted, I mean, and the teams are... Guys, but just by going to a line, people already voted, right? Because they're going to buy that. So they're about to make find sense. out who made the most money and which team will have to face the pressure test. Everybody out, let's go. Oh, come on yeah. out. Let's go. Woo! Time is up. Kind of rigged. I have nothing to go off of. I couldn't watch the other trucks the entire time. So I'm very uncertain. We've been counting up what your trucks have taken in cash individually. And the results are staggering. 4,000. Here's the good news. Combined, you'll all be donating over $2,000 yeah. to charity. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> the team that took the most money, which was $798, to be precise, you did 114, Kevers. Blue team. Congratulations. Blue. Blue team. Yellow. Red team. Ye yes. What? Yes. <laughs> what? We won by that last push, by my personality grabbing those last few people. Stay Tacos safe. in you Southern California. Huge advantage. You use it to your best ability. More importantly, it paid off. Red team. You will not be facing the pressure test. Thank God. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Chef. I'm just pissed. If we lose today, we're going into a pressure test. I could potentially be going home. Blue team, yellow team did. The locals in Venice go for the chicken tikka masala. Did they go for the sliders? Disgusting. With a difference of $154. The losing team today. Yellow. The yellow team. Yellow, yes. Oh. Yes. Yes. Yeah. We, yeah. we take those. How do we lose? We take I'm those for really sure. Bummed. I'm also just in disbelief we didn't even come in in second place. Yellow team, you did 86 covers. Obviously, I'm super upset. I mean, I made so many burgers. So, I don't know how we lost. And I don't sure, think this loss is my fault. 
Ron David has gone home. Boys, you get a good night's sleep because one of you will be leaving this competition. And quite frankly, based on that performance in there, the lack of direction, you've only got yourself to blame. Yellow team's going to pressure test. Monty's up on the chopping block. My plan unfolded as exactly as I had seen it in my mind. Okay. Back in your trucks, clean up. We'll see you tomorrow. Red team, congratulations. Okay, Stacey. Blue Thank team, you, chef. well done. Thank you, chef. Good job. Like, I want to know where you're upset. Should I answer that, or is David going to freak the out? I'm such a child. <laughs> I kept saying, let's get this started. Yeah. And when I came back, nothing was done. Everything was, I got this, I got this, I got this. I don't know what Monty wants from me. We should have just gotten those burgers out as fast as I was cooking them. That's the bottom line. So basically, you did, you did nothing wrong today. What did I do wrong today? I'm asking. I'm did we ever there. run out of burgers? Well, we didn't have them at the beginning. Those 15 minutes were our 20 tickets that we lost. Yeah, cook them faster, bro. It was my responsibility faster, bro. as the leader to get you going sooner. Bottom line, I'm responsible. I'm the team captain. I did the best I could, even but more it wasn't wrong, enough. I think my biggest error was trusting David's false sense of competence. From the time the first person got in line and gave you the money, how long did it take us to get out of burger? Ten minutes, not because of the burger. It took us more than ten minutes. Not because I of the burgers. Took me a I lot one came than back and it was not wrong. because of the burgers. I will not take the blame for that <laughs> line not going as fast as it did. That's not my fault. They need to get their fingers working. The okay, meat was he's done, not wrong this time though. It wasn't ready. I'm yeah, pretty upset with David though. right now. We lost the group challenge he, and okay, it's David's he fault. did make them raw. But you can't cook it faster. You guys. It, if they weren't prepared and ready, okay, how can he cook them faster? After losing the food truck challenge, the yellow team awaits their pressure test. But they still have some serious unresolved issues. There were things we could have done at the beginning to prepare ourselves for a smoother service. Did I not have piles of meat? You did eventually. But not eventually, Tanya, not eventually. eventually. I think it's your guys' refusal to say, we just didn't pump food out fast enough. It's unfair for anyone to say that I was the one that dropped the ball on this. I don't like fingers being pointed at me at all. The it first didn't... things that you sent out were raw. Not all of them. I went through one a whole batch. Many. I'm totally pissed off I'm in a pressure test. We could have won okay, that okay. challenge. Okay, so they wanted to get the food fast enough, and then the food that he did get out, they said it's raw. If David so, had listened to all of us. Can't have it both period. ways, though. Gordon Ramsay came back with a raw burger. You guys are absolutely insane. Well, we're in a pressure test now, and I'm going to do my best to kick it in the Best of luck. Maybe if you gave them a hat to I you put a hat on the burgers to my keep life. the heat in. I'm here to find my place in that culinary scene. I want to have a catering company. I can't go home. If I get sent home right now, I'm going back into school. I'm going back into that horrible routine that was just killing me. Winning would give me that push and that courage to just go get what I want in life. Like and when you do a dumpling, a chef. put the hat on them. I feel kind of going into the pressure test because of that argument, because of my other teammates' opinions. I'm totally ready to fight for my spot here. Yesterday, you ran three amazing food trucks. The oh, team no. that took the least amount of money clearly was the yellow team. Led by Anna. You four are in for the fight of your culinary lives because it's time for all of you to compete in today's pressure test. Taste, test, taste, come I on. I believe in myself. I'm hoping that my attitude and my style may actually save me. Your pressure test today. Test, taste. Is all about. Tortellini. Tortellini. It takes intuition and finesse to make the perfect tortellini. I will show I would you have how. I would have no idea it's how to It's basically that. constructing a ravioli and then taking it one step further. The filling has to be flavorful, not too watery, because if the water boils, it will explode. You will have the combination of various meats and ricotta, Parmesan cheese, parsley. I think tortellini are dog shit. create a balanced filling. You want a pasta that has a nice sheen to it. You want it to rest. 
so it's ready to be worked. I'll end up the with a couple. It's about a half a teaspoon of your mixture. To bind the pastas together, you use an egg wash to make sure that the top level of pasta sticks to the bottom level. Feel around the filling to be sure that there's no air inside. Fold the bottom piece up over the top. Pull each side around. This is where we're having small fingers is a big advantage. Pinch it in the back and then pull the top piece down and around. I feel like I'm not oh, equipped to do this no. at all. Is it clear? Yes. yes. Sure. Focused? Yes, yes sir. Sure. All of you, head back to your that stations. Was, that was kind of wholesome. This challenge makes me nervous because I don't have small fingers. That was wholesome. I, guys, I just, I'm going to play it back. I'm, I guess I'm playing it back. Back and then pull the top piece down and around. Oh. I feel like I'm not cute. Not, yes. I don't have small fingers. I just don't. You will have 60 minutes to prepare 10 perfect tortellini with a meat and cheese filling served in a simple broth. This challenge is designed with one thing in mind, and that is <laughs> technique. That At least one of you Be will respectful. leave in the kitchen forever. Your 60 minutes starts from now. Each competitor has access to exactly the same ingredients and equipment in the kitchen. I've only made pasta dough twice. <laughs> yeah, that there one. There is so much to execute with this pressure test. I think this is a highly pressurized, difficult 60 minutes. First thing they should do is what? Make their pasta. In order for it to relax so you can roll it nicely. It's about balance, it's about finesse, and it's about timing, which may be a challenge. We got four different methods going. This is going to be intense right here. You see, David, someone who makes pasta on the stainless steel surface without putting a wood board underneath understands nothing about pasta. Yeah. Pasta needs to be in a warm and gentle environment. I don't think his fat fingers are going to be a big advantage today. I'm amazed that Anna, the one that's closely connected to it's pasta more than anyone, is Memory. making her pasta in the machine. Not by him. It does everything to the pasta dough that's not supposed to be done right. to it. How is pasta going to relax being spun at 1,000 mile an hour? I have no idea. Wow. Ah, this is terrible. <laughs> Just getting the delicacy of the dough is the most important part, and I may have already screwed that up from the beginning. I have never made tortellini before, but I cook pasta at home Blizzy for my kid fingers. a lot of the time, so I'm not going home today. Not today. I think David's going to go home. He's got fat fingers to match his attitude. I wish them all the best, you know, but I hope I do better than at least one of them. 30 minutes left. Oh, my God. We only want 10, so you want to make sure that filling and the thickness of the pasta on the outside is absolutely perfect. <laughs> ah! David Martinez. Sir? How are we doing? Pretty nervous. Have you made tortellini before? No, I haven't. Who's leaving? You know, I think a person like me with sausage fingers has a little bit of a disadvantage. You're not using those sausage fingers. I'm using the case of this thing to make it a little bit more smoother. Good luck. Thank you. What? 18 minutes to go. Come on. Okay, I man. need to breathe. <laughs> My pulse is, like, out of control. Guys, make sure that your water and your broth are boiling. If you were smart, you would have done two batches with two fillings. And at this point, you're finishing up your tortellini, you try in the first one, you try in the second one, you decide which one you want to present to the judges, and then go with that one. Okay. Seven minutes to go, guys. Seven minutes. Strategic. For one of you, your last seven minutes in this kitchen. Not my last seven minutes. I'm absolutely ready to fight back and make these tortellini as perfect as possible and show the judges and my other competitors that my hands can make something beautiful. Kind of bulky. This is absolutely at the wire. I don't know if I'm going to do it. Tanya, how are we doing? I'm scared, chef. Yeah, you should be. Show me when you're talking. Wild Blizzy. <laughs> so you haven't rolled these before? You haven't made these before? Never. Did you press the ricotta to get some of that water out? No, chef. Have you tried one of these? Did you try the filling and poach it off to make sure it's not too salty? No, and... chef. Have you tried one of these to see how long it takes? I'm saying no to every question Grandma's asking me. I'm ready to throw the towel in. I'm ready to give up. What is that? What is that? Why are you upset now? I'm just disappointed in myself. I realize that I could be leaving, and it makes me realize how bad I want to be here. You think you're going home now? Chat, it looks like a fruit by the front when you bulk it.
Why are you upset now? I'm just disappointed in myself. I thought she was going gone. home now. Believe in yourself. That's what this is about. You know what you have more than anyone? You've got more heart. No matter how bad things get, you're cooking with love. And that's so much more than other people that just have skill. Look me in the eyes, tell me you can do it. I can do it. Right? Chef. Thank you, Chef. Biggest six minutes of your life, literally. Okay? Thank you. Let's now go. Start cooking, you yeah. You got it, okay? He reminds me why I'm here, and he reminds me why it means so much to me, and that defeat is not an option. Five minutes left. Have you met my friend Philip? Philip who? Philip von Dies. What's she doing sticking a knife in there? What? She just pierced it. What? It's the worst thing you could ever do to a tall lady. Yeah. It's like a boat at sea. Now it's got a hole in it. It's going to be leaking in water. Last three minutes, guys. What the fuck? Oh, my flame is off. A, I. Anna, two minutes to go. Oh, damn it. At this point, if your tortellini are not boiling, you're out of the game. It's gonna be a little crunchy. <laughs> 60 seconds to go! Oh my god, this is stressing me out. Start plating your dishes! Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, two, one. Hands up. No celebration. When I look at David's tortellini, Ooh. I am in shock. David has perfect tortellinis. Wait. They are gorgeous. Oh, Tanya's well. tortellini looks like it's gonna get her sent home. She knows it too. Okay. We are about to begin tasting, and at least one of you will be going home. I'm the first up, which I'm relieved by, because I'd rather just get this over with. Oh, come on. Don't get down. My it's filling fun. has equal parts mortadella Ooh, and prosciutto, a little fuck? bit of ricotta, parmigiano, minced parsley, and a hint of nutmeg. Shape. Is it raw? It's raw, isn't it? Perhaps not. They all laughed at sausage. I can hear as he's chewing that my pasta isn't al dente, that it is raw. Oh. This isn't good. It doesn't look that raw. Oh. No comments. Is anybody gonna talk? Okay, dude. Okay, dude. That's his rule. Ben? Hearing from Gordon that this is raw is my death sentence. I'm in trouble. Okay. Pressure is definitely on. Someone's going home. It looks kind of chewed already. It looks, looks chewed. This is raw, you muppet free head. You never made this before? No, sir. It's fantastic. Ask a question, walk away. A little under season on the filling, but it's really good. It's not the prettiest tortellini I've ever seen, but I think I'm gonna be safe. Oh, these are. 
tank. Oh, wait a minute. Great tortellini. Thank you. How did those fat fingers make such pretty tortellini? Oh. They're beautiful. Perfect. Thank you, John. I think my tortellini look good. I am not going home today. I was running out of time what and I wanted to make sure that? I got them cooked. Oh, and she's my done. My was really poor in shaping them. You struggled out there, didn't you? Yes, sir. I struggled a lot. Graham picking up the Joe Stratefuge in here. Can I have rock? It's like a little, little origami envelope. <laughs> Do it. Do it. Looking tortellini. How'd you get that shape? Sit um, on them? I'm not laughing, I'm quite serious. I think it turned to that shape because the dough dried out and. So it's um, the dough's fault? No, it's my fault for drying out the dough, overworking it. Good on shape. How much pasta you put in there? At this point, it comes down to Tanya and I. One of us is gonna be going home. A mess. Hey, results? It's okay. It means that After we're not gonna tasting eat. all four dishes in a tortellini it's fine, pressure it's fine. test. A mess. We're not gonna get fired the during the results. The judges must now decide who will be leaving the Master Chef Kitchen. Just what? From top to bottom is a huge range. <laughs> You'd expect that shape to be a little bit better than that. Okay. All four of you, come round, please. No. David's safer. 60 minutes to make a stunning tortellini served in a simple broth. For at least one of you, it's the last time you'll cook and in the Tanya. Chef kitchen. And our Tanya. I personally don't feel like a lot of my peers here want me around still. But I'm not going down. I plan to be here for a long time. David Martinez, you showed a nice technique with a tortellini. It was the best shape. And the best taste. David, take your apron upstairs to the balcony. Good job with the tortellini. Thank you, sir. Thank you, guys. Well done. There's nothing. Good job. My lives, man. Unbelievable. What, what'd you say? Monty. Those tortellini were incredible. Balanced, refined, in every sense. Nine lives. That's so awesome. Thank you so much. Good job. Well done. Go well upstairs. Done. You're safe. OK. <laughs> well done. Anna and I are in the bottom two out of this pressure test, and it's not fair. We performed the best yesterday, what? and now we are at the bottom. Anna. That's tonight. What? was the first time I have Shut seen you up. almost out of your depth. I've never seen you struggle as much as you just did. You made some mistakes, starting by creating the dough in a food processor, to stabbing the tortellini to remove the air. They were raw. There was a lot of issues. I expected more. Yes, sir. Tanya. Yes, sir. I've never seen you panic, struggle, and look so uncomfortable. It looks with a bad, challenge. but it is not raw. I know that you are struggling. From the moment that we presented what this challenge was going to be, you seem shocked. I think that's your worst dish so far in this competition. And it's I gone. agree, Chef. The person leaving, Master Chef. Anna. Sorry, girl. person going home 
is. Anna. Anna. Yep. Your time is done in Master Chef. It's all right. Anna, you've been amazing. You came with spirit, it is what creativity, it is. flair. You beat your husband in this competition. You made the top 12. And I'll tell you something. When I visit Boston, I want to see you in a restaurant, your deli, whatever it may be. Do not give up that dream. Anna, you're a sweetheart. Please put your apron on your station. This whole experience has just really been a tremendous gift. I just feel so fortunate to have had this opportunity. Okay. So I'm, I'm just crying, I think, because I've just had so much joy being here. It's just been amazing. Oh, man. Every single minute that I've been on MasterChef, I have learned and Jeez. grown. I wish it was small. It really but... has been an education. I am really proud of myself. Oh! This is just the beginning of Anna in the culinary world. I'm just sad that this part is ending. Wow. One, On the show. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. This competition right now is wide open. My big question to you all is who's going to win MasterChef? You're looking at him. Adios. Adios. Okay. Adios. okay. Good night. Adios. Good night. Mods, 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 mods. Tomorrow night on MasterChef.